I thought it was entertaining in so far as bad films go, but I think uh, I think Randy has a different Yay! different perspective there. Different perspective might be putting it lightly. Like for one, yeah, I hate it when they shoehorn in music like that. Like a band, I don't even know if a band was like really even a part of the plot, but it just like it was ended up being half of the movie. So fuck that. And then the rest of the movie, I just feel like was a conversation between this, I don't know, radio DJ and a news reporter. I can't, I can't even remember what a woman was. Um, but they were just talking back and forth constantly about what was happening, and and then maybe there was some science in there. But man, I yeah, I it's it's honestly hard for me to classify this as like a, a film because it just doesn't it doesn't feel like. I I didn't get a story out of anything. Sorry. Yeah. yeah you, well, kind of, did, kind you, of, did you like the Apple or did you like Voyage of the Rock Aliens or or any of the musicals we've seen, even Anna and the Apocalypse? Those are always really divisive in movie nights. Anytime I play a film that's a musical, we're usually pretty strictly divided on whether it's the best or the worst. And I think if we had a consensus from the chat yesterday, I think some people were really into it. And I think other people were really against it. And that seems to be just the way it goes with the musical ones. I want that list of names. I want the people who like this movie. Yeah, <laughs> this is the name of Carson. I mean, I, like I, it. Feel like, I feel like Miami Connection would be like a musical. And it's just like, you can't compare that to this. Well, but in Miami Connection, it's almost, I mean, the music actually fell into the plot. They were a band. They were a, a Taekwondo band and they were playing these live shows. And then during the live show, you know, the enemy shows up and starts beating on their girlfriends or whatever, and they get in a big fight. This movie was different in the way that, you know, you had a cheerleader start dancing around and she imagines a band and a band manifests itself in the scene that she's imagining they play a whole fucking song Dreaming of someone here in my bed it feels so real it nearly told me in this band, it's the worst kind. It's some kind of like Pearl Jam ripoff or something. They're going for the whole <laughs> grunge thing. They did various genres, and they were very genre heavy in, in advertising that that's the genre they're doing. And then whoever was playing the music would have the whole look associated with it. And it was as though they were just trying to appeal to these different musical genre markets. And I don't know if they... Uh, achieved what they were looking for in this, but just the, uh, you know, just the insensibleness of having these aliens uh, reducing women in size and putting them in these test tubes and using rock and roll from this radio station. It was so nonsensical that I couldn't help but appreciate it for that. I remember the broccoli. Oh, broccoli well so i guess no, we're I, I guess yeah. we're in consensus thumbs up on this film you gotta watch it at least two more oh, times oh fuck everybody well i i 